and the mean so far in our meeting just me and you i have just shared the link and let's see if someone else will join us Oh, uh, in one or two minutes, it's Serginho and, exactly. and, yeah, and the girls. <laughs> so tell me, Andres, uh, I'm, I'm, how are you enjoying yes. it so far? How is it being for you? Uh, I'm uh, like too much in the script of the first podcast because i like the <laughs> too much in your history it's very good uh, uh, so, uh, of music uh, it's uh, uh, incredible <laughs> history very nice Serginho has just joined us now. Hello, Serginho. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. And Izzy Hello. as well has just arrived. Hello, I'm here. Hello. Good evening, Izzy's. Hello, Serginho. Good evening. Very good. Hello. So, André, I just wanted... Hello, hello, hello. Just wanted to make this clear with André just a second. Uh, so, André, even though you don't you don't read the words, the PDF, that document is helping you to, with the spelling, and so it, it's good. Yeah, yes, my, my program, I can, uh, I can read line to line, word to word, uh, character to character, I, I can uh, understand too much it's very good uh, to read the, with uh, the programs to blind people I see very good because last time when you wrote the message and uh, you asked to be corrected that's what I said to you uh, I, I wasn't sure if you were misspelling because you were not sure how it writes or if you were mistyping because you could not see what you were typing so that's why i was unsure if i uh, how i i should approach that but what we can do i don't know maybe there is a spelling corrector that we could we could use that we can we can make our job mine and yours much easier you know i use it all the time i use a spell corrector because when i'm writing it's a uh, it's a great way to to make sure you're writing correctly uh, i think easy has okay. to send to her child i saw her leaving so guys let me just wrap it up and go straight to the point uh, and maybe more people will join us now you are very lucky <laughs> because we are a very small group so we can have a good quality interaction uh, with big big groups is very difficult because uh, you see is like uh, there are a lot of messages and then sometimes we get a bit lost because too many messages hello Dulce welcome good evening can you hear me well I don't hear you, but I don't know if you hear me. Do you hear me? Do yes or... <laughs> I can hear you. That's right. You have to put your headphones. You have to... That's right. You wear your headphones. <laughs> I said you remember. I, 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 I can't become a cyber woman. This is the power of the mind, Lucy. Everything we say to ourselves, um, it stays there in our subconscious mind. Uh, you know that. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree with you. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to our 
first live session, I was just uh, easy as was with us, but she had to attend to her child. I'm sure she will be back. And maybe Yvonne will come and join us. And I was just saying that we are very lucky because uh, in this membership thing, we are going to be working in smaller teams. So in this way, our communication will, be, will get much more effective. Okay? And uh, like our every group, I'm just going to be telling you all this and then I'll, I'll, I'll wait for your questions later on because Zoom just allows us 40 minutes. So I'll go straight to the point. Uh, okay, so our group has 10 people only, 10 or 11 maximum. I think it's 10 because Serginho has two numbers registered there. It doesn't matter. It's just 10 people, 11 including myself. Uh, along these six months, we will be opening complete, we will continuously be recruiting people to join the program because the idea is this is like the more people we have, the more interaction will happen. But in an ordered way, because <clears throat> like the other group, which has 140 people, it's very difficult to catch up with the conversations and then everything gets a bit crazy. So in this program, it's not going to happen like this. Because even if another 100 people come, they will be divided in groups of 10. So every time, we will be talking with groups, like teams of 10 people. And the fun thing is that when we have lots of groups, we will <clears throat> interact with groups, and we will also change places from group to group. So you may go to sleep one night and then the next day you wake up you are in a different group <laughs> so that would be very interesting so anyway everybody is going to be going through the same program so that unites everyone so we know what is what's going on even though we may not be talking so much with the other groups but we'll be talking because the facebook group is for all the groups i know some of you don't like facebook platform i don't use facebook these days very much either i just like the group platform because i think it's a great place to meet <clears throat> sorry we can meet there we can share videos we can interact in english so if you use facebook you may take advantage of the the facebook group okay you don't need to some people ask me ah oh, but do i need to sign up for facebook to be part of this i said no you don't you can do everything with whatsapp zoom and emails it's perfectly fine but what uh, facebook is an additional is an additional platform if we use it is there is going to be more interaction happening there but okay back to the script so everybody got the script through the email right uh i'm new to do for just for for our for the audio so if you got that uh you will see that through the scripts there are some suggestions again uh, there is it's not about homework there's no such a thing as homework it's just suggestions for us to interact and you will see that i marked uh with a code i'm gonna type it here the code is hash p1 hyphen one for example i put it in the chat you will see you can open that hash means number p stands for podcast number one so that code addresses the, the 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 challenge or the dynamic the activity whatever you want to call of that specific podcast number one hyphen the number of the activity i think the first podcast script has got eight activities for something like that now you don't need to do all of them <clears throat> You don't need to, you can do number one and then you can jump to number three and then you can do number eight and then come back to number five. It's okay. It's your own creative flow. Those are just suggestions. The next script, uh, which I have done part of it, but I haven't put all the dynamics. I'm also open for suggestions. So if you want to be telling me, ah, Tiagi, it would be great if you can do this and that, we can also amend and do these things uh, is a living program so i want to customize the program 
as much as for your needs. I know the group is very diverse. Some of you have studied a little bit more than others, but it doesn't matter. In real life, we all get to interact and we all get to learn with each other. That's why I feel this, this program is a little bit different from the normal online courses or English schools and so on. Okay, so I just wrote a few things here and I'm gonna be sharing with you quickly. Uh, I think Serginho wasn't sure about the tokens and Dulce recorded a lovely message about the tokens. So let me just say what the tokens are all about. <clears throat> I don't know if you are familiar with the term cryptocurrency, but if you are not, it doesn't matter. It's just another name for coin or money or token. Now, in the case of the English in the pocket token, what I'm calling pocket tokens, it is uh, the, the value, the, the worth of the pocket token is the same as the real. For example, one pocket token equals to one real, okay? Same thing. Now, but how does that work? Okay, I'll explain. Every time we do our tasks, our challenges, in our program, we get tokens. Like, I'm gonna credit you tokens because you are doing a good job and you are doing what this program is supposed to be uh, making you do, is to interact, to speak up. So every time I'm going to be allocating some, uh, all of the challenges will grant you tokens. I don't know how much yet, depends on the difficulty of the challenge. Now, I'm going to be, let me show you now this, because it's very important. Again, you don't need to do this, uh, do, so you don't need to become a cyber uh, person, okay? Uh, let me just show you. But if you do, okay, yes. <clears throat> if you do come to use this, it's going to be very nice. Can you see my screen? Do a thumbs up for me if you can see my screen. Yep. Okay. Excellent. What is this? <clears throat> this is a Google Sheet. It's like a, it's just like an Excel um, a sheet, basically. And I get this. I come from here. When I go to my Gmail, let me move this thing here. When I go to my Gmail. Okay, I don't know if you all have Gmail. And then you go on these little things here. But it doesn't matter, okay? Even if you don't have a Gmail, you can, accept, uh, you can go to this place. And then you go to Google Docs, okay? When you go to the Google Docs, there is an option. But I'm gonna share you the link. I'm just showing you, okay? So don't worry, don't worry. I'm not, you, you don't need to do any of this. I'm just showing you how I got here. Okay, I can see Dulce is very anxious. Okay, so this is a sheet, an Excel sheet. And I'm going to show you how this is going to work. This is going to be our wallet where we're going to keep our tokens. Okay, and this is a, this is an online document. Everybody, I'm going to share the link with you and everybody will be able to see this document, okay? Now, you won't be able to edit. You will be able to see it, but I'm going to edit. So it's like I'm the administrator of this document. You're all going to be seeing how much tokens you have, how many uh, tasks you have completed. And I'm gonna show you, for example, here we have, I'm gonna write Dulce. And then second name here, I'm going to put Andre. And then next name, I'm going to put Sergio. Okay. I'm going to put everyone, but just for the example here. So I'm going to show you. Now, in this column here, I have that challenge number one. I don't know if you remember, but I, I have asked you to to share your testimonial, to share how this learning program has benefited you so far, how you have learned, and some of you have shared, and 
For those who have shared, I said I was going to grant with five tokens. So Dulce has shared that one. And then Andre has shared an audio message. And I said, OK, but an audio message, I'll just give you one token. And Serginho hasn't shared yet, so he doesn't get anything. OK? So this document is going to be online. Like I said, you can see it anytime you want. I'm going to give you the link afterwards. And this is going to be our wallet. Now, for you, that after some time, you will have lots of tokens. If you do your tasks, if you do your activities, if you interact in the platform, if you help your friend with a difficulty, I'll be looking everything. And then we will be getting tokens. So say, for example, that Dulce has done a very good job and she has earned seven tokens, 70 tokens, sorry. Now, with 70 tokens, OK, because she's a very hard working person, so she studies a lot and then she's going to be earning her tokens. So she got 70 tokens. Now, with these tokens, with this amount, she can redeem it for a one-to-one -one class with me. Then it's going to be just me and Dulce talking together for one hour or so, because when it's one-to-one, -one, the Zoom allows us to stay a little longer. And then we're going to be talking about anything that Dulce may have a problem with, like grammar, uh, reading, of uh, writing anything that is her own need that she's going to to have that class customized to her own needs like a private class okay because the private session with me costs 62 tokens and that's the same thing in reais by the way so 62 tokens 62 reais now Dulce has uh earned 70 and she now she spent 62 because we had a one-to-one -one session now she has eight tokens left okay so that's the math that's how it's going to be working now you can also do other things with these tokens but that then we're going to be talking later about this because when when we have lots of tokens to trade we can do different things for example the group can come and say, Tiagi, we have enough tokens to pay you a tutorial class, a one to a, a group class. Okay? So then Dulce has five, Andre has one, Isis has five. So you put all your tokens together and then you pay to me in tokens, not in real, in tokens. Okay? So then we have another live session. Now, this is a free live session. We are here talking together. But for future live sessions, I want to encourage you to do the work. So once you do your work, then I see you're doing your work, you're earning your tokens, and then I'll say, OK, now we can exchange that for another session together. And that way, you will be motivated to engage, to do your work as you want. And again, you can do it at your own pace. You don't need to feel pressured. There is no deadline. You don't need to do it for next week or for the day after. Not at all. It's relaxed. You can do as free as you like. But there is this reward system that will help you to be motivated to do it. OK? So that's tokens. So I'm going to be sharing these. Like by tonight, I'm going to be finishing this uh, sheet here. And I'll send you the link so you see how much money you've got in your wallets. Okay. Now, another thing that I just discovered, which is really amazing, is this. It's called Google Classroom. And it's an amazing thing because Google Classroom allows us to uh, organize our classes. So I don't know if you see here, attach material. So I have a little video, then I see let students view or edit the same material, have their copies and so on. So I can come here and add each one of you, okay? I can just put your emails here 
and we can organize our classes through here. And again, I'm going to send you the link once I organize it here. So this is going to be online. You can go there anytime you like. You are tomorrow, you want to see what's going on. In one month time, in one year time, in five years, you will still be able to access this. This is a lifetime classroom. Well, as long as Google <laughs> leaves this thing for us to use, no? And we don't need to pay because this is a free service for, from Google. So this is another place that we're going to be organizing ourselves. Don't worry, it's going to be very simple. I am here to help you to with any difficulties, with any any technical problems. Now, what I want to say is that every person, every friend, I really want this network to grow. So every friend that you invite that enrolls in the membership which means that becomes a premium access member and starts to do this program you will get 20 tokens is a little reward now if you get yes if you get two friends enrolled in this program then you will get a one-to-one -one tutorial which is worth 62 so like triple the price so it's just a little incentive that I can uh, offer and is a, a, a thank you gesture as well for joining this program. I believe uh, English in the Pocket is very uh, original, is unique. I have never seen anything like this in any way and I'm very excited. I'm doing this everything by myself from the website to to everything else, <laughs> from the payment systems and all the classes, the recordings, and there's a lot of work, but uh, I believe, I think it's a great way to, to interact and learn and, and, and share together, and that's, we, we really get motivated, we get to motivate each other, and that's how we learn, really, because nowadays, nobody wants to be learning in a boring school or paying a lot of money for an online course, which is no longer needed. So that's why we're saying English in the pocket is like the Robin Hood of the English schools. <laughs> so help us share the words. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's it. I think I said everything I needed to say. I'm going to unmute. Who would like to, to talk to me, ask questions, whatever? One at a time, one at a time, one at a time, all together. <laughs> hey, um, good night and <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Um, very nice. I'm, I'm happy to be, I'm, a, I'm a happy, very good happy. Evening. To, to be in part in this amazing journey. It's a really revolutionary way to learn, to learn other language. language. I, I enjoy it a lot. Thanks, Tiagi. Thank you, Dulce. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support and your interactivity. And uh, I just see now that Maria Fernanda has joined us. And guys, I thought I would just uh, say tonight <laughs> that she's my mother. <laughs> so my mother is joining us in oh. our six month program. Yeah. So let's, would you like to say something, Fernanda? Good. Welcome. <laughs> Are you shy, mom? <laughs> no, I don't want to let to speak. Uh, no problem. <laughs> no I problem. Prefer to, to, I prefer to see you, to hear you. 
Understand? Doctor. Yes, I do understand. I'm sure everybody understands you very well. Okay. Welcome, Fernanda. Nice to see you. Very good. So everybody got my email uh, according to my uh, crystal ball. I have a crystal ball here. That's why I was I could tell that Lucy had opened the email uh, because when I send the email, I have a way to see who has opened, who hasn't, and uh, if I'm not wrong, I think everybody got my email. Now uh, I think. Only for Andre has been a problem to find the link, so that's why I shared the PDF in the group. Okay, so apart from that, everything was there in the in the email. So, does anybody have any question? Would you like to ask anything? Uh, I have something else to say, but I'd like to hear from you. We still have some some time. Uh, the PDF in uh, the group uh, in WhatsApp. In reality, I prefer uh, when it's possible uh, uh, an exo then uh, link uh, to other sites because many sites is not accessible. But uh, uh, no problem. Uh, when it's not possible, I can uh, download in the other form, no problem. But could you I, open through the group, uh, In the group, it's perfect, too. Ah, wonderful. Because, it's, because for me, then, it would be easier through the group. Because when I send the email, because I do through a, a automatic system is a different system than a normal email they don't give me this option of attachments so whenever i have a attachment i will put through the group then for your sake okay or maybe i'll say okay it your inbox. okay very good very good so one thing i wanted to say i think i do mention it in the script is the habit of reading out loud and when we read not read silently okay when you read and you read aloud it means like you you voice it it's a very good practice now everybody can do that you can do also that andre by listening to some sentences not very long and repeating them and recording these. I think I, 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 I wrote somewhere in the script. So I was going to suggest, I haven't put this as a challenge as such, but I will because it's such a great activity to do, that you could be taking part, you don't need to use the, only the podcast, you can use anything. I think it's very important that we build this habit of reading small articles, small short stories. I'm going to be adding these materials to you i'm just going to i'm just saying that is a great thing that we can also be doing through whatsapp groups uh, to record audio messages that we read from from books or from parts of the podcast and i think i mentioned to you serginho to work with affirmations okay so that the podcast is perfect because then you have the audio message uh, whatever it is, a statement or two or a paragraph, and then you try to memorize that and say the whole thing and read the whole thing together. And that will help you to organize the sentence without having to learn that the, the verb comes first and then you have the auxiliary verb before. You see, you don't need to go through the grammar. You don't need to go through the elements of the language. When you start by copying what is correct, you will learn correctly. It is logic. You don't need to understand the logic behind how the car works in order to drive the car. You can just go there and sit, learn how to drive the car and just drive the car. 
It's the same thing with the language. You don't need to learn all the grammar. You don't need to learn all the verbs and all the, the conjugations. You don't need to learn all the, 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 uh, all the elements of the language. You just need to have a correct reference of the language. And once you have that correct reference, naturally, you will absorb the natural way, the correct way. So the podcast is one reference. You have thousands and thousands of audio books, which I will also be sharing with you along this program. And I want to be hearing you, your, your suggestions of uh, interesting topics, what you want to hear about. You want to talk about quantum physics. You want to talk about romance. I <laughs> uh, hope not. <laughs> you want to talk about really whatever. So then let me know so we can create this together. And Tiagi, um... And about um, memory cards, did you remember? I I said you. Yes. Um, I I I don't know very well. I don't know very well. Um, a friend of mine used it and and said me it's good cards with words to memorize. Do do you know? I think what you mean, Dulce, is what we call flashcards. Is that correct? Flashcards. Because I think we're talking Yes, about... uh, it's uh, a similar. Similar. Yeah, I think we're talking uh, yes, about... Yes, flashcards and cards. Uh, uh... Okay, so about memorizing words. I have a few things to say about it. I think I shared with you a PDF. Uh, I don't know if you received it, Susie, about how a suggestion, how we can absorb new vocabulary. Did you receive this, uh, this PDF? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Uh, okay. Maybe. Okay, so I'll make sure in the next email I'll send you again because I think it's very interesting. Okay, one thing that I have realized uh -huh. is that we create memory, which means like long-lasting memory, a memory that we will not forget because we have our short memory, but we have our long-term memory, right? So... For our long-term memory, that's what we need when we talk to people. When we talk to people, if you have just a short memory, you won't be able to have to say any sentence because you will forget. Now, for you to have long-term memory, you need to make connections in your brain. And these words have to stay there. <laughs> and these connections have to be strong. And the way... For these connections to get strong is by creating meaning, things that make sense for you. For example, <clears throat> I want to learn the word um, uh, parachute. Okay, parachute. What a funny word it is, huh? Parachute. And then, uh, okay, a parachute is something that you, you jump from the airplane and then just you jump with your parachute and then eventually you open, okay? That's what a parachute is. Now, a parachute is not going to stay in my mind straight away unless I create a situation or I remember, that's even better, a situation that happened to my life or to somebody that I know or even if I watched in a movie, something that I connect <clears throat> to the word parachute because I saw in that movie that I really liked it, and then there was my famous, my favorite actor or whatever, a little storytelling in my mind that connects that word with a certain context. So answering to your question about the flashcards, Lucy, I think they are great, but they are better when you do, for example, you see a duck, and then you write a sentence about the ugly little duck. I remember the ugly little duck was yellow mm -hmm. and I was told this story when I was five years old, whatever. 
So you established a little mm -hmm. deeper connection in your brain than just looking at the dot okay. and say, this is a dot. Mm -hmm. That's my take on it. That's using images. Okay. Not everybody ha can use that uh, tool, mm -hmm. uh, but it is, I think they're great. I, I, sh I don't know. I shared with you mm -hmm. a TED, a TED talk about with this psychologist. TED talk. Who was talking about mm -hmm. how to improve our memory and he shared a very strange technique i'm going to share you this video in fact <coughs> very interesting uh -huh. i'm not gonna say i'll keep it as a surprise and i'll share it with you Why? talk to us Serginho. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello, Sergio. <laughs> hello. Are you here? Hello, hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any questions, Sergio? Is everything okay, clear? Okay, okay. Is everything clear? No, no. What? I don't. Is yes. Everything good. See, yes. Clear. Did you understand? Yes. That? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it send is, me your video, huh? It is very, very good. <laughs> Yes. Okay. okay. Very, very good. Uh, my, uh, very, very. Um, very better. <laughs> uh, what, what, what is, uh, uh, what is do, uh, and the, uh, this, this uh, uh, about my 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 trouble in in, in English. Yes, is this? No, no. I was asking if you were uh, tokens. Because I don't need the <laughs> uh, the. No, no. That's okay, Serginho. Let's carry on speaking. You will get better every time. Yes, Dulce. That's okay. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, Dulce. <laughs> Um, I, I I saw already in the first uh, podcast uh, in the first first task 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 uh, uh, you suggested suggest suggested yeah. um, an active um, well uh, is this a task uh, must uh, in video or just audio? Okay, uh, I think I did say something about recording a video, but it doesn't need to do, uh, it doesn't need to be in video, okay? You can just simply send a recording message, the audio message. Uh, Mm -hmm. I think okay. I think the, the I don't understood what's the homework. Okay, <laughs> all right, Andre. Uh, we <laughs> have less than one minute, and uh, but I'm I'm going to say it. it's not really a homework. They are just suggested activities that are written in the script. Yes, yes. Uh... Okay, 
like uh, talk about your I don't know oh. I think talk about your family or something your, your genealogical something I don't know if it was something like this or if you had any difficulties uh, with English language I don't remember now but the the most important thing is like if you can write it out write in it part out. of the script yes it is in the script it's it's written along the script in some places they have a there is a little section uh you didn't see that andre yes ah okay so yes so you can just record the audio message it's fine it's perfectly fine if you can also send everything you record if you can write the the the, the, the script that's going to be even better because it's going to show you exactly what you were saying i like to do the other way around i like to write first and then i record the message that's what i'm doing 